So there comes a time when you're building a car and you just want to get things to work. So you kind of half-ass it sometimes and it's good enough. Well, it's not good enough anymore. So we're gonna fix it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna put in a roller pedal. Old school Volkswagens had these and they were super cool. Mine, when I got the car, my whole pedal assembly was rusted together. You can push down the clutch and the gas and the brake went with it. So I beat it into submission and got everything to work and I just put it back in. So I didn't want to spend a bunch of money buying a new one. Um, and I just wanted to see if I could do it, which, you know, little victories. But um, now it's just, uh, it's kind of a mess and we need to address it. So that's what we're going to do. What's up, humans? Um, today's, today's little uh, story uh, goes back to when I got the car. Um, nothing worked. The pedals didn't work. They were actually all rusted together. And uh, in order to make it work, I, I took them out and got them on a vise, and I just beat the crap out of them and used penetrating oil and stuff until they all worked independently because um, they were just basically one pedal working. And uh, so I took it out, got it back in. It worked. It's it's worked for a few years, pretty good. Um, then I put the supercharger on the motor, um, and now the carburetor is a foot higher than it than it should be. And so I had I had run a, a piece of tubing through with the the throttle cable through it, and it was just too many bends. It was binding up, and and the whole uh, gas pedal assembly was just just janky as hell, you know. So it's time to get rid of all that stuff. We're gonna take the gas pedal out. We're gonna replace it with a roller pedal. And we're going to reroute the cable uh, through a flexible cable housing. I don't know what you call it. Um, or whatever. We have one. And uh, we're going to make some little mounts for it and make it a nice fluid uh, kind of path for the cable to go in. And uh, hopefully that will that'll smooth some things out. So here we go. Oh, by the way, this is my favorite hammer. I don't know why. I just like this little hammer. Uh, it's kind of shitty, but... What is it? I just realized that um, when I did this, when I initially fixed this, I had the uh, original hinge was was all rusted out and, and broken. But in my haste to make a little thing, a little hinge bracket for this and weld it to the car, I welded it right in front of the bolt I got to take out. <sighs> What an idiot. Do you know what I'm doing next? assembly was so crappy I needed a bungee cord to hold it up so we're gonna get rid of that but you know you know what they say if it works it ain't stupid Thank you. 
this out. We gotta be very careful. Do not do what I just did. And that is lose the clutch cable. Oh, it's right there. I can feel it. So we need to take this old assembly off and it's held in by a pin. There's a pin in here. It doesn't seem to have anything holding it in place. So I don't know, maybe we can just push it out. Oh, look at that. Look at that. All right, we put that there and uh, that comes right out. Sweet. Um, this is the new, the new assembly. That's not gonna work. Hold on. Yep, it's definitely wiggly. Hmm, we need a washer. Hold on. Maybe this will work. And there it is. That was easy. I'm gonna scuff it up with the scotch Brite pad because paint and chrome's kind of a bitch. So I'm just gonna scuff it up a little bit and have a go at it. So I got everything in and the gas pedal's still binding up. I think it's the cable. So uh, let me show you what it's doing here. So as you can see, the, the cable goes into this tube that's, you know, 40 years old. And it's just like, it's not smooth. It's, it's at like a weird angle there. I think I'm just gonna bypass the tube. I'm gonna run my own tube. Yeah, maybe that'll work. All right, so I think it may have gotten down to the problem here. You see these two two pieces of cable? They look the same to me, but one is actually, this one is actually thinner than the other. And I was stuffing this cable through this, not really stuffing it, but um, you know, it was going through there and it was a little too tight. So it was being very, very rough and not going through smoothly. So I'm going to replace this cable that goes up to the, the uh, accelerator pedal and uh, with this one. And I'll lube it up and hopefully everything will be good. So what I ended up doing was getting a new uh, a flexible cable and um, running it around underneath, underneath the, uh, the intake here. And up to, I made this little bracket here and uh, it goes up. I modified this this piece. Probably might do a little video about that, I don't know. But um, it's nice and tight, pedal smooth. And all is well. everybody that wraps it up that was a good project um we'll see you on the next one 
like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, I'll talk to you later.